Let's get it on. Good morning, YouTube. What's up, everybody? I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. So in 2023, the brand On came out with two shoes that I really liked. Those were the Cloud Surfer 6, and the Cloud Eclipse. And now in 2024, On is trying to keep that momentum. So they've updated the Cloud Monster with the Cloud Monster 2, and they've also released a brand new shoe called the Cloud Monster Hyper. The idea behind these two shoes is that you run your long, easy runs in the Cloud Monster 2. You do your tempo work and you're maybe a little bit quicker training in the Cloud Monster Hyper. And then you run in the Cloud Echo Boom. I think that's exactly what it's called on race day. Today's video is going to focus more on the Cloud Monster Hyper because I think this is really the more interesting shoe of the two. And to be honest with you, I really just am not digging the Cloud Monster 2 at all. The fit is off. I don't love the way the upper is constructed and the midsole just feels firm to me. There is no world in which I would pick the Cloud Monster 2 over something like the Cloud Eclipse. Maybe that's because I prefer Cloud Tech Phase over just regular Cloud Tech, I don't know. But either way, I'm not gonna be reviewing this shoe or really putting in any more miles on it. So we're just gonna put it to bed right now as it's just a miss for me. Before we start talking about the Cloud Monster Hyper, I do wanna ask that if you are not subscribed to this channel, if you could go, please and do so. I hit 20K subs a little bit ago, thank you. We want more, obviously, right? So if if you're not subscribed, go do so. And if one video a week on YouTube is not enough for you, then go follow me on Instagram. I am posting running content, shoe content, life content, all the content that you could possibly ask for. So that's another place to go follow me for some more running fun. So those are all the places to go follow me. Now let's talk about the shoe. The Cloud Monster Hyper has a little more promise to me, and that is because this is supposed to be a super trainer of sorts. So we're gonna talk about that today. Is this a shoe that I could see myself running in for tempo mileage? Uh, so let's get down to business. But first, of course, you gotta watch the run footage. Are today, I do want to let you know that this shoe was sent to me by On. However, they're not going to see this video before you. They can't tell me what to say, and all of my opinions are completely my own. Starting with the upper of the Cloud Monster Hyper. You got an engineered woven mesh here. The material feels premium. They do try to provide some ventilation in that forefoot for some breathability. In the midfoot, there isn't a ton in terms of overlays, but it does manage to lock you down onto that platform. And the heel counter in the back is fairly sturdy. Right off the bat, the first thing I noticed about the Cloud Monster Hyper is that it has a better fit to me than the Cloud Monster 2 does. That just feels way too big. This does have somewhat of a lot of material going on, but it isn't as bad and I am able to get a better lockdown. And it just feels like lengthwise, it works better for my foot. Now, while I did say that this material feels premium, it also feels kinda hot. Yes, they did provide some ventilation here in the forefoot and even in the midfoot area, but it's really not a ton. The laces have some kind of grippy material on them to help them stay tied. Just wanna say, these shoes came untied, so I guess the grippies don't really work. 
I don't know. But they are really long laces. It doesn't really look like it on camera, but trust me, they're flapping around. But the tongue is pretty minimal and gusseted and helps to keep you on that platform, like I said. But I do enjoy the padding around the ankle collar. Always love that. This isn't my favorite upper for a super trainer. I think it's gotta be way more breathable and I don't know. I'm just not in love with the material they use. I think it's probably high quality but I'd rather just have some more breathability and ventilation in there. Like that is top priority. And I'm just not getting that. I didn't get any hot spots, blisters, or irritation in the upper of the Cloud Monster Hyper, but I don't know. I think we could have dumbed this down a little bit to make it slightly more performance-based. Moving on down now to the most interesting part about this shoe, and that is the midsole. That white layer you see under the forefoot of the shoe, that is called Helion HF, and it is a P-backs based foam. So they use this in the more premium super shoe, the Cloud Echo Boom, and uh, P-Bax is used in quite a lot of super shoes out on the market. This is supposed to give you a little bit more cushion, bounce, and response when you are trying to pick up the pace a bit. And that orange layer that you see under that Helion HF foam and throughout the rest of the shoe, that is their standard Helion foam. And it has a more traditional Cloud Tech design. I have 20 plus miles in the Cloud Monster Hyper right now. I did a lot of easier runs in it with some strides. And I also did a tempo workout and a long run in this shoe. When I first stepped my foot into the shoe to try it on and I felt that Helion HF foam under my forefoot, I was like, wow, okay, this feels pretty good. Like, I'm kind of digging this. Especially after trying the Cloud Monster 2 and just really not liking that shoe, this has a much nicer forefoot give than the Cloud Monster 2 by far. On my first run in the Cloud Monster Hyper, which was just a four mile easy run, I was like, okay, this is a decent shoe, not bad. But as I started to run in this shoe a little more throughout the week, and certainly when I did my tempo run or my workout in this shoe, I kind of felt like it was a bit lackluster for something that's supposed to be a super trainer. The shoe felt a little bit heavy and kind of clunky under my foot. When trying to pick up the pace, I wasn't feeling that aggressive turnover that I'm able to get in other super trainers on the market. I don't know, it just wasn't working for me. And that could be because I'm more of like a midfoot striker. So maybe I'm striking here. And then by the time I roll into my stride up here, I'm just not getting getting the same effect as if I were a four foot striker who off the bat was stepping onto this p material, that could very well be a me problem. But I just wasn't getting that fast feeling from this shoe and that is a big deal for me when it comes to a super trainer. I think I actually enjoyed the Cloud Monster Hyper for easier stuff than I did the actual workout. So my workout that I did today was uh, a one mile warm up followed by three minutes and 30 seconds at 7.30 pace, one minute and 30 seconds at seven minute pace, and then one minute and 30 second jog in between. And I did that four times followed by a one mile cool down. When I had to get up on my toes for that one minute and 30 at a seven minute pace, I just was having a lot of trouble. Now granted it is windy today as it has been, so that did play a part. I really think it's this orange foam here. I just don't get along with this type of cloud tech technology. I'm not really sure what it is about it, but I don't like it in the Cloud Monster and I don't really like it here. I do like this Helion HF foam in the forefoot, but I just don't think there's enough of it for me to justify, or really not justify, but enjoy the ride of this shoe more. If you wanna stay in the On family, I would even do temple work in the Cloud Surfer 6. This also doesn't have a plate, feels lighter on foot and more nimble than the Cloud Monster Hyper does in my opinion. And then I would do my easy runs in the Cloud Eclipse, but but even this I feel like might be better, for me at least, in a faster day situation. If you're looking for something that is a little bit stiffer and maybe you're a four foot striker and you can get up on your toes in this foam, then you might absolutely love this shoe. It's certainly capable of going long and capable of doing faster work if you are into this kind of thing. Just doesn't work as well for me.
Moving on down to the outsole of the Cloud Monster Hyper, we have some nice grip rubber in the forefoot of the shoe, some on the lateral side of the midfoot, and we got some pods of rubber in the heel. I think this traction is actually pretty legit. Uh, I feel like gripping onto the pavement and grass, gravel, all that kind of stuff just fine. I never felt like it was slipping out from under me, and it gave me confidence to try to go a little bit faster. So I think it's doing its job in terms of wear, like I said, I have a little over 20 miles and I'm seeing a little bit slight wear here and there, but really nothing too bad. And I think that this Helion foam also that's exposed is going to be super durable and so is the rubber on this shoe. So I think it's going to last a pretty long time. Now for the price of the Cloud Monster Hyper. If you've seen anything about this shoe, you probably know already, but on runningwarehouse.com, the Cloud Monster Hyper is retailing for $219.95. I'm just gonna shoot it straight with you. I don't think this shoe is worth $220. Some super shoes with carbon fiber plates are in that range and that doesn't, this doesn't have that. So I, I just don't think that it's really worth that price, whether I got along with it or not. I just think there's other shoes that you could buy for that price. And there's other shoes in this category that you can buy at a lesser, lower price that I would probably recommend over this one. Despite that, if you still want to purchase this shoe and that is totally fine, I will put a link in the description of this video. You can click that link and pick up your own pair. Keep in mind that will be an affiliate link with Running Warehouse. However, it doesn't mean much for you. It just helps out my channel so I can keep making these videos. But I probably won't keep running in this shoe or the Cloud Monster 2. I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. I think On has killed it with the Cloud Surfer 6 and the Cloud Eclipse. I love those two shoes. They are fantastic. Maybe I'm just at a cloud tech phase girly. I don't know, but I just don't love the two new releases and it would be a disservice to you to not be honest. Are you going to be trying the cloud monster hyper? Do you love the cloud monster too? Do you not? Would you prefer the cloud surfer six and the cloud eclipse? Which cloud do you like? Let me know in the comments down below. I always love to hear what you guys have to say. Well, everyone, that concludes this video on the Cloud Monster Hyper from On. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit the notification bell so you can find out every time I upload a new video. I will say though that in terms of looks, this is a pretty sleek looking shoe, you know, on, they kind of nail it with their design. I will not have another video for you next week. I'm doing the Cherry Blossom 10 miler, but we'll pick it back up the week after that. Wish me luck, hopefully it goes well, but in the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like Heller. I'll see you next time.